A new emergency shelter for the homeless is up and running. It's set up across the street from the former encampment in Banning that could be seen from Interstate 10 heading into the valley. News Channel 3's Samantha Lomibau has been following this story very closely since March. She's live tonight with more on what city officials are calling Opportunity Village and what it has to offer. Samantha. John, it's a moment many people in the city have been waiting for right across the street. You can see that's where the Opportunity Village is located and now has become a temporary home for 35 people. Now, occupants of the new shelter are grateful, but do have some concerns about the rules in place while the city says it's still a work in progress. <laughs> the Opportunity Village, a place where some can call home for the next 90 days. You know, I'm, I'm definitely blessed to have this one here now. You know, it's a uh, it's been very helpful. The city told me it's not a permanent solution, but rather a place for people to turn their lives around. It's really the first step from being on the street into some type of shelter. The village consists of 20 pallet shelters, each one with two foldable beds equipped with air conditioning and electricity. There's also showers, a laundry room, and a bathroom for the community to use. There's more amenities that they offered us this time. We didn't have a washer dryer last time or even the showers. Um, we didn't have no water fountains or anything like that either. So it's a lot, it's a lot better. better than a lot last better. Time. The city told me it's working with local agencies to provide job help along with drug, alcohol and behavioral services. You know, we, we really hope to see people moving out quickly, not staying for the full 90 days so we can get more clients in and serve more people. Occupants of the new shelter say it's a fresh start for them. No, they're very helpful people. I mean, they're very nice, helpful people. They don't stereotype, you know, they don't put anybody down. They're willing to help anybody that's wanting to help. So in 90 days, if everything keeps going the way it is, I could see myself moving forward even from there. But because of the curfew where no one can leave or get back into the village between the hours of midnight to 6 a.m., they feel like they're trapped inside. If someone has to go to work at graveyard or whatever, then why couldn't we leave and come back? I, I don't want to feel like a prisoner, and I have been for a few days. The city says the curfew is in place for safety and security reasons, but plans to work with its occupants to make sure the village is moving in the right direction. Whether it's, you know, maybe an individual case issue with a client or whether it's something with the village, a, a rule that, you know, isn't working the way it should or, um, you know, anything that might happen. Now, right across the street from that village is the former encampment sign that we reported on many times before, once lined with dozens of tents and belongings. Last week, the city evicted the people living here, and now, as you can see, several piles of trash. The city said it's working with waste management to clean it all up, but there's no timeline yet on when that will be done. Now, as for the remaining people who did not get a spot at the village, the city said they were able to get more than 50 housed in other shelters. Now, others that didn't make it into the village and didn't get housed are now scattered throughout the city and there's no long-term plan yet for them. Live in Banning, Samantha Mebow, News Channel 3.